you don't know, now you know. It's true. When you're ready to do something and try something new that's out of your comfort zone, that's out of your norm. It's always the one you're dating, the one you're married to, the one that's in your family, your friends in your immediate circle that will always try and talk you out of doing something special and significant. Do you know how many people have had visions, ideas, and huge career moves that they were about to make? And they allowed the word no to stop them. Boldly walk into the room with your head held up high. And if they don't get it, laugh about it. Don't disown your ideas because they're disowning your ideas. Don't lose confidence in your ideas because they don't have confidence in your ideas. Don't be afraid to walk into the unfamiliar. Don't be afraid to do what's deep inside of you to do. You got gifts, you got talents, you got capabilities, you got inventions, you got all of these things that you need to unleash on the world. You don't have money, you may not have the financial resources, but don't allow your visions and ideas to be stifled because of what's in your bank account or not. And something inside of you made you say, that even though I grew up in this situation, I'm still going to work and be a better man or a woman. I'm still going to do whatever I have to do to break the cycle. I'm still going to decide that I love myself enough to do better, bigger, and more significant things. But it takes a very strong-minded person to decide that because I was born into this, does it mean that this is going to define the outcome of what my life and purpose on this earth is destined to be? I see what's not there. I have visions. My visions are bold and unapologetic. You know, they say you got to think out of the box. In my mind, there is no box. To have ideas and visions and dreams and then to do any means necessary to see to it that the vision come to life. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. And then there's even more power to be able to see what doesn't exist and then to be able to articulate it and verbalize it. Just keeping your minds and your spirits open to the possibilities. I'm telling you, stop being afraid of the unfamiliar. I love you. I repeat, I love you. If no one has ever told you this, if no one told you this today, this week, this month, this year, or this very second, I want you to know I love you. And I also want you to know that the fact that you're still alive and still on this earth, even though it's been challenging and rough, and sometimes you get discouraged and uninspired to keep going, God has a plan. You will grow through what you go through. Everything that you're going through, at some point, it makes no sense to you right now. But at some point, God is going to reveal to you why all of these issues, challenges, and problems continue to show up and what you were supposed to learn from it. You will grow through what you go through. It's time to do something significant. It's time to... Get up. It's time to 
get back into being significant. Just woke up. You gotta do what you gotta do. What are you gonna do today? To walk towards your goal? I'm just curious. I'm curious. How many text messages are gonna come through today? Where you respond and end up connecting with that person that can take you off your path. How much time and energy are you gonna to dedicate to your gift and your talent or your goal? How committed are you to producing results? A lot of people talking about what they're gonna do. But how many of y'all today are going to decide to do it? I want you to write in the land of the blind. The one-eyed man is king. I'm a king. Are you a king? Or a queen? I'm just asking. Are you in the gym? Are you doing anything to walk towards your goals? of being in shape, more focused, getting an A-plus on those tests? Are you training as hard as you know you're supposed to be training to make the team or stay on the team? You worked your ass off. You got up at 6 a.m. in the morning. You decided to stay in your college dorm and not party, drink, smoke, and get high. You decided to focus and get away from all of the distractions so that you can pass that bar exam and that test. You decided to focus so that you can get a high test grade on your SAT scores and end up going to college to state play sports, football, basketball, or anything that your college degrees allowed you to do and become. You decided to focus and get it done. You sacrificed all of the fun, the perks, and all of the fun shit you could have been doing because you were that focused on getting out of your own way, breaking the cycle, breaking the devil cycle of your own family and your surroundings. I decided to love myself enough to want better, desire better, and seek better, and move in the direction of something better. What is the next level of you? Are you done? Are you done evolving? That shit that you accomplished was five years ago. It's over. You're still alive. You getting on your knees every night and you praying, but then you getting off of your knees and ain't doing shit. You can't get points today for yesterday's game. I don't give a fuck how much money is in my account. I'm gonna make a statement every day. I wanna become the things that I see. Go get it. If you got a problem with your life and your career, stop complaining about it. You spend so much time on your knees, your knees are bleeding. Get up off your knees and do the work. There is more to do. I don't care how much money I have in my pocket. I'm trying to be significant. Does anybody know how much money was in Martin Luther King's bank account? How much did Nelson Mandela have in his bank account before he died? He was significant. He made a statement. He lived his life with a sense of purpose. He was selfless. He wanted to make a difference in everybody's life and everybody he ever came in contact with. I refuse to be another man that lived and died and wasn't significant, period.